Manor House Secret, Part 1. The Manor House Secrets The Earl of Blighty could be described as a crusty old man. He lived in his big old manor house with his faithful servant Giles and a maid. The Earl's wife died about ten years ago. Far from being heartbroken, he started to have quite an interesting life. People in his village started to wonder why he needed to travel to London so often. Then, about two years ago, he had a major heart attack and everything changed. The Earl stopped going out and he lived alone with Giles and a maid. No more trips to London, no more big parties. Then his son's wife had a little baby boy. The Earl, delighted that the family name was to carry on, decided to host a christening party at the manor house. First, he phoned the young vicar at the church to arrange a date. The vicar was glad to hear from the earl. The vicar had just recently married a London girl, and he wanted the people in the area to meet her. The weekend promises many surprises for everyone. How could Vicar John be so naive? His new wife from London is not at all the sweet, innocent person he thinks she is. Events in the Earl's interesting life are about to catch up with him. How could he know that Patsy, also known as Kitten, would marry the vicar in his own village? How could the vicar's wife know that the man who treated her so well in London was really the Earl of Blighty? She now has a job at the local paper as a reporter and had hoped to make a new start in life in this small village. For the christening, the Earl brought out a priceless brooch. In the 14th century, this had been used by his ancestors to hold their cloak shut against the cold winds in the north of England. It became a tradition that all children coming into the family should wear this brooch at their christening. The guest of honor, the baby, looked very grand in his christening gown and the family brooch. The village church was full for the christening service. People were happy to see the new baby, but most of all, they wanted to meet Vicar John's new wife, Patsy. Patsy and Earl were both equally amazed to meet at the church door, but neither wanted anyone to know of their previous relationship, so they were very quiet. When all the village people had gone home, they had a quiet, family dinner. There was the Earl, Vicar John, and Patsy. 
the Earl's daughter, Nancy, and Peter and Brenda with their new baby. As the guests prepared to leave, Brenda let out a shriek. Oh, the brooch, the brooch. Where is the brooch? Immediately, the Earl declared, If that brooch is missing, I think I know who has it. Patsy, maybe you plan to give it to your husband in London to sell. He's good at selling things like that. What? I have been deceived, cried the vicar. If this is so, Patsy, I never want to see you again. Everyone was talking at once. Please calm down, everyone. My friend Alphonse Dupuis, the famous detective, lives in the village. I will call him. We must all wait, and he will find the missing brooch, said the Earl. What has happened to the brooch? How many more surprises are there in this house of secrets? Thank you.